So hi guys, welcome back to my video and in this video, gagawa na naman tayo ng AutoCAD exercise. Okay, so we have here this kind of um drawing na nasa screen natin ngayon and ito ay galing mula sa aking kaibigan sa ibang course and nahingi ako ng konting copy. So, binigay niya sa akin tong um CAD na exercise and may specify na measurements or dimensions and ganito daw dapat yung magiging itsura niya. Okay, so mabalik tayo dito and I think you can use you can use this as your own reference para makapag-practice ng AutoCAD. Okay? So, okay. So, you can take a picture muna. Ayan. So, ganito yung gagawin natin. And, ma medyo mabilis lang naman to. Okay? So, let's begin. So, pan muna tayo. Ayan. Okay. So, sabi, gagawa doon tayo ng heptagon. So, by that, we're going to use pol or polygon. We're going to use 7 kasi heptagon. 7 sides daw. Specify the the center point and inscribe in circle or kahit alin dyan. So, we're going to use 100 kasi iyon yung sukat. Yan. Sukat ng ating radius. Mula sa center hanggang dito. Tapos daw, mag-offset tayo ng 10. Paloob. So, we're going to use 10 units and enter. By that, we can make a guideline. So, mula rito hanggang dito. Okay. Then, we're going to use a circle with 30. 30 yung ating radius. Yan. And after that, we can make a circle again. So, mula dito sa center hanggang dito sa unang corner sa loob na ating heptagon. And same lang dito sa center hanggang dito sa corner nito, itong tinuturo ko na may green na corner. Yeah. Okay. After that, i-copy natin to na naka-ortho mode. Yeah. So, by that, yan, i-rotate natin siya. And ibahin ko lang yung kulay para di ako malito. Kasi ito yung gagamitin nating source point sa ating um slant dito. So, gagawa tayo ng 100, or 200 rather, units. Ayan. So, ito, i-align natin. So, first one is ito, and ito. The second source point natin, ito. And the destination is itong nasa dul. So, enter, and no. So, select natin yung red, and delete. And then, move natin, or offset natin to. So, 5 sa taas and 5 sa baba. And after that, i-move natin itong tatlo dito sa center ng ating circle. Ayan. And copy natin yung circle dito. So, center to center. So, ito yung center. Ilagay natin dito sa center. Sa gitna. Ayan. And delete natin itong line. And itong all line na to. Kasi hindi naman natin siya kailangan. And by that, we're going to use now trim. So, we're going to trim na the unnecessary lines o yung mga sobrang line dito. Ito, 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 ito. Wait. Ito. Ayan. Let me check. Aha. Uh -huh. Ito. 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 So, medyo matyaga lang sa pag-trim. Ayan. Ito, ito. Ito. Also, ito. At ano po ba yun dito? So, paloob daw. So, tanggalin natin to eto eto okay so trim pa natin para dito ayan and after that select natin tong object na to join natin maging dalawang polyline and then mi 
MI for mirror. So, select natin tong um, center. And then, drag natin siya pa baba. And then, no. And last one is to trim now. Ito. And select natin to to join. Okay. So, by that said, nagawa na natin tong object na to. Ayan. Nagawa na natin tong object na to from the dimensions na ginamit natin dito sa ating example. So, ganun lang gumawa ng mga exercises or activities in AutoCAD. Thank you so much guys. Please like this video and share to others na gusto mo tutong mag-AutoCAD and I hope that I will see you in my next video. Peace!